What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another War Thunder video. So recently I received a question from Georgie. He says, nice video, man. I want to ask you something. What to buy? Russian P-63A5, Russian P uh, Hurricane Mark IIb, German P-47, Japanese F-4U, J Japanese A-7M1, the American XP-50, the Russian B-25, or the American B-TD. What he wants to do is to get a good line grinding airplane in Tier 1 through 3. Generally speaking, when I'm asked a question like this, you know, uh, a good line grinder or a good uh, RP grinder for an early tier, the German P-47 is the one that I usually go with because it's it's one of my favorite planes. And I didn't want to just just give Georgie the 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 main answer that I give everyone, and that is, you know, fly the P-47. It's great, and it is. But I want to do, delve a little bit deeper into into my stats, and so I I went through my stat card. I went through every plane that he listed in, in his email, and I came up with a list. This is, again, going by average lines per battle. This, this is actually kind of surprised me. In last place, we have the XP-50 with just over 17,000 lines, and that's with 11 games. I'm not a big fan of the XP-50. To me, I had a lot more fun with that in, in arcade. The HP-50 just hasn't really meshed with my playstyle in Realistic just yet. Up next we have the BTD with just just under 20,000 lions per game. That's going off 25 games. To me the BTD has somewhat of a limited role in Realistic battles, in, in normal Realistic battles. If you're going to use it in Realistic ground forces, then I can see it being quite useful in bombing those, uh, those tanks. But in standard RB, I feel like all you got is a couple of bombs or torpedoes if you happen to go that route. And then you got your 20 mils, which can, you can either go uh, attack ground targets and be somewhat useless because attacking AAA and artillery aren't going to do a whole lot of good for you. Or you can use it as a, as, as a very heavy fighter. I have used it as that. It's, it's a, kind of a challenging plane to use. I tend to prefer it in arcade, actually. Next up, we have the Japanese Corsair. It's just over 26,000 lions, and that's in 99 games. I used to fly this quite a bit. Um, I'm probably a better pilot now than I than I was when I started flying it, so I could probably get that number up a bit. It's still a good plane. It's it is under tiered, so this is a, a good plane to get if you're looking for one. As, remember, it's a boom and zoomer, not a turn fighter. Next up, we have the German P47, which kind of surprised me. It's uh, not not very high on my list. At just over 32,000 in Silver Lions per game, and that's based on 102 games. I would have expected it to be a little bit higher on my list, but, you know, sometimes you're, you, you kind of surprise yourself every, every once in a while. Next up, we have the Soviet B-25. Um, I was kind of surprised by this one. Uh, just, just under 33,000 in Silver Lions, that's based on 12 games. I've got uh, 12 games played, I've got 10 deaths, nine air kills and hundreds of of uh, ground forces killed in standard rb it's a very good line grinder it's it's shockingly good actually next up we have the a7m1 this is a japanese fighter just under 33,000 silver lines that's based on 83 games played its battle rating has since come up a bit i haven't flown it a lot since the battle rating increase but i don't think you're gonna have too much trouble because it's a it's a really good plane Next up, we have the Soviet P-63A5. Just over 34,000 Silver Lions, and that's based on 17 games. I feel this plane doesn't get a, a whole lot of attention because it has a, a a gun system that's challenging to use. It's got 50 cals, and then it's got that big 37mm cannon on the nose, which has a relatively low velocity. And it's, it's not as much derpiness fun as the Yak-9T can be. So I think I think people tend to write it off as uh as a is a good plane, but nothing nothing to write home about, I guess. I I don't know. I I've had some really good games with it. I've had some clutch games, some uh, a lot of five kill games, a lot of ace games. It's it's a really good plane. I, I like it. And last but certainly not least, is the winner. That is the Hurricane Mark II B with thirty six thousand two hundred and twenty lions per match. And that is only on two matches. So this that kind of skews the results, in my opinion. But we're we're basing this on results, right? We're I'm just you know going full disclosure, showing you the the number of lands that I'm getting per match, and 
you know, it is what it is, I guess you could say. Uh, it's, a, it's a really good plane. It's got those n nasty little 20 mils from, from the Soviet Union, as opposed to the 7.7 millimeter machine guns that you tend to get on the, on the British version. One of the limitations that the Hurricane has is, of course, is its energy retention. Uh, it doesn't have energy retention. <laughs> so if you're going to fly the Hurricane, you want to fly it in a way that you're very conservative with, the, with your energy with your, with your energy use. You want to be very conservative. But yeah, this is this is my my top, my top eight list of the best line grinding premiums uh, tier one through three. That are, that's the list is, again is based on what Georgie provided me. If I went through every premium plane, I could I might be able to find something that I have had a little bit more success with. And again, I don't have every tier one through three premium plane, so I can't give a a full comprehensive list. This is a somewhat limited, but I think most of these planes are fairly common. These are actually the most common tier one through three premium plans that I can think of. Let me know what you guys think of this list and if you have a, a suggestion, leave it, leave it in the comments section below. You know, even though the Hurricane took my top spot, I would actually go with either the P-63, the A-7M1, or the German P-47. That would be my top three if I were to make a, a list just on 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 my feelings and my, my personal rec recollections and not just the stats here based on, on lines per game. The best premium plane is the one you're going to use the most and have the most effectiveness. And to me, in order to be effective, you have to know how to fly it. And if you don't have, if you don't know how to fly the P-47, buying it um, might be not the, the correct answer. You, you want to research the P-47 if you don't know how to fly it. You want to research the A7M1 if you don't know how to fly it, etc., etc. Get a good understanding about what you're, what to expect because the last thing I want you to do is to buy a plane and and find you're frustrated with it and you just give up on it. And that money is spent, you know, it's down the drain for nothing because you're not going to use it. If you don't know how to fly something, just ask. You know, a lot of us are, are here to help. Uh, there's a lot of YouTube videos covering the P-47 and the, the, the Corsair, the P-63, etc., etc. There's a lot of videos on here to, to get some ed education on. And again, if you, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section below and I'll be able to give you a hand. Anyway, guys, thank you again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click that thumbs up button. And of course, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Take care, guys.